Why hello everybody, I'm here today in Kananaski's country. I'm going to be doing a little hike up Haling, which is one of the local mountains here, just overlooking Canmore. It's a beautiful day, blue sky day. It's a little bit chilly, a little bit breezy, and I expect this hike to take me a couple of hours. So I hope that you'll come and join me and enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, so I've started the hike. Now this climb is actually quite a steep one. It's not a long one, but it's one of those where the going up is quite, whew. Some people might benefit from using poles. I personally don't use poles very often. So I'm just gonna slug things out as it is. And look at those views. It really is. A beautiful day. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Now, as with a lot of these hikes around here in the Rocky Mountains, it does start on a trail through the trees and it's only when you get about a mile or so from the top and the summit that you start to benefit from those gorgeous open views of the surrounding mountains. Now this is actually the third or fourth time that I've been up Helling. I did it a year or two ago when I did it as part of the Canmore Triple Crown. And if you can see this mountain over here, that's the east end of Rundle. That's another of those mountains that makes up part of the Triple Crown, along with Lady Macdonald. of years ago they actually closed this trail for maintenance and the reason being that they were doing it for erosion control. Now they actually put in these railings to make sure people stayed on the trail. There's a lot of erosion up here and they also put in some steps nearer to the top. Now there were some people there actually thought this was a good idea because it protected the mountainside but some people also felt that it took away part of the challenge of the natural environment. And during the summer months, this trail does get very, very busy. It's a tough hike, but it does attract a lot of the crowds. And uh, I think it's great that people get into the great outdoors. But I'll be honest with you, I do quite like these mountain trails to myself, which is why I do try and usually avoid these more popular hikes, such as Halling. Today it's not too bad, it's actually quite wintry, fairly mild, but snow underfoot, no ice as yet, but uh, we'll see how things are when we get close to the summit and we're above the tree line. Oh, those views are, are really opening up now. Ah, oh, days like this <laughs> truly are awesome.
There is Mount Rundle. That's a really good climb. Lots of fun. And again, you get some fantastic views of the valley down below, the Bow Valley, and of course the town of Canmore. And that's where I'm headed, up there. Okay, so we're getting close to getting above the tree line. I suspect it's going to get very windy up here shortly and probably a wee bit chilly. are the steps that they put in as part of the erosion control. I'm actually starting to catch a few people up now, I think, because this is where it starts getting a bit slippery, it's quite steep, and of course, who wouldn't want to take it easy when you've got views like this?
One of the things that makes it difficult when the trail's as steep as this is when people slide down and it just makes the trail so smooth and slippery and especially when it's steep like this it makes it really hard to get some grip. Now ideally I should have worn Catullus today, I've actually got my Solomon Spike Cross on. Um, luckily I'm fairly confident on my feet with being a trail runner but uh, Unless you are confident in these kind of conditions, I would definitely recommend wearing Catullas. And I've certainly seen a lot of people down today. Back, heading back towards the tree line now. And that final mile or so, just back down to the parking lot. <laughs> All righty, so I'm approximately, I don't know, 400 meters from the, the base of Halling. It's taken me today two hours 25 minutes to do that winter ascent of this mountain, which I'm really happy with, especially considering how snowy it was up there, how windy it was, um, but absolutely awesome. <laughs> So there you go, I made a winter summit of Halling. It took me two and a half hours or thereabouts and the round distance was 5.25 miles or around about eight or nine kilometres. I hope you've enjoyed joining me today. That's been an awesome hike. I have to admit there is a little bit sketchy towards the top with that wind and the snow and everything, but I made it down safely and I've really had a fantastic day. If you do like this kind of thing, please do consider subscribing and of course hit that little bell so they get notifications when other videos become available. For now though, thanks as ever for joining me and I shall see you all again next time.